guys, Nathan here from Aztec Gaming, and in the last week, Terraria got its 1.2 update, and it's going to be more popular than ever. It's on sale on Steam at the moment, so there's going to be loads of people playing it, and loads of people wondering how to host a Terraria server to play with friends, and that's why I come in. My last video showing you how to host a Terraria server, I got 17,000 views, and I'm wanting this video to do more, because that would just be great. Uh, it's not a different method, it's just an updated version because people using the older version would get stuck and have a few problems. So I'm just going to redo it again. Uh, I'm going to do it in six easy steps and hopefully you guys will learn how to do it off by heart. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, step one is to visit the links in the description to download these two very important programs you'll need for this process. Uh, Log me in Amachi and Terraria Server v1.2.0 and above. Both programs are free, just go ahead and download them, but once they download them, don't install them just yet. Uh, wait until further on in this video, and yeah. So scroll down here, and it's a green link. Uh, I f it was quite hard to find, because it's not a big download button, but yeah, just go ahead and download that. Okay, step two is to allow all Terraria items through the Windows Firewall. So in the Start menu, go to the Control Panel and go to the system and security section uh, in the windows firewall section allow a program through windows firewall hit change sentence and scroll down to the T's where the Terraria stuff will be now I have about six copies of Terraria so it looks a bit ridiculous but everything beginning with Terraria accept it uh, yep make sure all the boxes are ticked uh, there we are I don't know why I have that many it's just silly uh, just go ahead and click OK, and that's step two over and done with. OK, step three is creating the Logby and Amachi server. Go ahead and run the wizard, install it, make an account, everything like that. And once it's once you've done that, it'll look like this, fresh, uh, no networks joined. Go ahead and click the power button, and it'll probe, and it'll synchronize, and it'll do all this network stuff that I have no idea what it means. And there we are. I'm already in a server called Aztec Gaming with my close friends and we played Terraria together. So to make a new network go ahead and click create a new network and pick a unique network ID. When your friends want to join the server you will give them the network ID and the password you create. Uh, if you don't if your network ID isn't unique it'll tell you to make a new one because someone has chosen it before you. There we go as tech gaming number two. That is the Logby and Amachi server made. Next step. Now you don't need to actually install this, but go ahead and click go ahead and search Terraria server in your start menu. And make sure that's the right version at the top there. You can see it. V1.2.0. There we are. And uh, now for this I'm gonna create a new world. Simply because it's simple. And I want to show you how guys how to do it. Go ahead and click N and enter to make a new world. One to get a small world to make it faster. Uh, I'm gonna call it Aztec Gaming Two because that's the name of the Logme and Amachi server to be coordinated and stuff like that. And it will generate the world. Now this takes a f takes a while. There we are. Now that's your world created. Now it's time to make the server for that world. So it's one. Uh, maximum players eight. Port seven. Uh, I don't know what this means, but I'm gonna click no. I don't know why. Uh, no password, just for ease. And there we go. It'll start to generate it. And there's the server made. Now keep that minimized. Now open up Terraria. Now you're gonna join as a host. Uh, you're gonna click join yourself and pick your character. Now type local host. Hit accept, that's the port we made, that's found the server, and you're in. Now, you're the host, but as a guest, uh, say your close friends playing with you, you want to go ahead and go multiplayer, join, pick your character, and you're going to type in the network ID, no, not the network ID, the network IP of the Hamachi server you're in, if that makes any sense. You're going to have to get that from the host of the Hamachi server, because it'll be there next to the power button of his, and he's gonna send you that through Skype or whatever, you, whatever you speak through. Type that in really quick. There we are, and hit accept. That's the port, 
and you're in as a guest as well now that's how your friends join and that is the last step to the video and yeah that's the end of the video guys that's how it works if you have any problems just comment or message me through YouTube and yeah share it with your friends share it with your family share it with your grandma and I'll see you guys in the next video Okay, yeah, and in the comments of the last video I made on Terraria server, um, a lot of people asked what uh, what's my desktop and how do I get it like that. Now I use a program called Rainmeter. Uh, go and do some research on it. There's loads of tutorials on how to set it up, and I use a skin called Omnimo. It makes everything look a bit Windows 80, and I've made the the icons to each program custom myself in Photoshop. So yeah, enough of all the arguing on what my desktop is. God's sake.